Hey, this is Fafa Pico. You're watching Talk Dude with Ryan. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode here on Talk Dude with Ryan. Uh, shall I say good morning uh, if you're waking up on this very fine game day. Uh, today, the Union will take on FC Cincinnati uh, Wednesday night at Town Energy Stadium. So, it is a home game. I will be attending. Uh, expect a recap to follow. So, uh, the Union will be taking on FC Cincinnati. A opponent that I thought would have some upside this year, but they haven't been off to a great start. Um, they're 21st in the MLS Power Rankings. Uh, they're in a four-way tie at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. So, um, you know, they're, they are tied with four other teams for last place in the Eastern Conference. The Revs, uh, FC Cincinnati, Atlanta, and the Red Bulls. So, all teams that no, do have upside, but all are at the bottom. So FC Cincinnati, we've already beaten them once this year. We played them once this year. It was a two nothing victory uh, at their place. I must say FC Cincinnati did not put out their best line lineup. Kenny Saif didn't start. Uh, Kendall Waston didn't start. And uh, so yeah, it was very it was very weird. I don't know why FC Cincinnati did that. I think uh, Waston was having some personal issues or something. Uh, but, yeah, they still have some very dangerous players, in my opinion. Rowan Lamar was coming off a really decent season with FC Dallas. Uh, I really like the way he, he plays. A uh, very dangerous player on that left wing. Can get the ball, um, get past your defenders, and squeak a little curler into the side panel of the goal. So, yeah, Rowan Lamar has been very good for Cincinnati, one of their best players this year. Darren Maddox, uh, if you remember that last game, he was... Not really a big threat, but a uh, very fast player. Very, very fast player. Kenny Saif, he's a very uh, very talented player as well. He's coming off uh, a stint in Belgium. Um, has had U.S. Men's National Team uh, games with them. So, like I said, they do have a pretty dangerous attack. And uh, their midfield isn't great. Victor Aloa... Uh, yeah, they, they, where their team has been exploited the most is just been crosses and goals scored off of them. So we have to take advantage of that. Uh, Kendall Waston is a very good defender, I must say. Uh, so is, um, Alvis Powell, who is their right back. They do have some inexperienced players on that team, but I do think that the Union can get a good result of them. Uh, but... What I also must say, Kai Wagner has been suspended for an additional game. Watch this. I do not know how it is a... I mean, I see the severity of the tackle. It is endangering the opponent. But I think it, it could be worthy of another game. But the fact that we were told yesterday that Kai Wagner was suspended in another game, that just berserk. Excuse me, berserk. I don't understand why they couldn't have told us that in between the Montreal Impact game and now. It's been a week and three days since then. I don't understand what the MLS Disciplinary Committee is doing. I don't know if they're in hibernation and just came out. Uh, I have no idea. But, yes, that is worthy of a red card. That is worthy of, maybe worthy of another game suspension. But the fact that we were just told that yesterday is just... I don't understand. Uh, but the Union Injury Report is actually a big one this week. Uh, besides Kai Wagner being suspended, we have a lot of players that will not be uh, playing in this game. Uh, especially Andre Blake, Mark McKenzie. And then we have a lot of questionables as well. But let's get to the outs. Andre Blake with the um, gr minor growing tear, as Jim Curtin said. He said maybe another week for him, which I thought was actually kind of... Kind of interesting because he the fact that he tore something, minorly tore something, and will only, his timeline will only be two weeks. That's actually kind of crazy uh, if you think about it. So props to the Union Medical Team. Uh, Mark McKenzie, you know, had, he had the appendix uh, surgery right before that impact game. So he is still, you know, getting back to full health. Uh, hope you're feeling better there, Mark. Uh, Marco Fabian, questionable. I don't think he will play. 
uh, because we play again on Saturday against the Revs. So I think it would be smarter for the Union to leave, let him get another game of rest in, uh, just because he is such a good player. Uh, Anthony Fontana, questionable with a left ankle sprain. He won't play anyway. Uh, and Ilsenio has some left hamstring tendonitis. And the other thing I want to say is Corey Burke and Ilsenio both were left out of the lineup for personal issues. I don't understand. Why. We were never told why. But Ilsenio is listed on the injury report for this game. So I don't know if Corey Burke is be available for selection for this game. Uh, it's very odd the situation that's going on with him right now. But the Union have, did show their depth last week versus Vancouver. And I really am confident about this game. I think we'll see the lineup for the Union. Fafa. Uh, I think Casper might get another start. David Kahn looked pretty meh last game. Jamiro, I would like to see him again. He's been very good. Uh, Brendan Aronson, Ale, and Harris. Really been digging that midfield combo for the Union. Red Gattis, Austin Trusty, Jack Elliott. Uh, maybe Olivier Mumbazo. Uh I'd like to see maybe Fabinho or Mavrial get some minutes, but whatever. Whatever keeps the goals out of the net, I'm content with. Uh, and Matt Freeze, I'd say, gets another start. I really was impressed by him uh, last game, so that's very, very good for, very good for uh, young Matt Freeze. But on the Cincinnati front, it looks like Greg Garza. And Fernando Adi are both questionable. So, two two uh, more players that uh, you've probably heard of. Uh, Fernando being a very proficient goal scorer. And Greg Garza being a very good defender. Coming off that championship season with Atlanta United. So, uh, first game against Cincinnati in our place. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, look forward to the recap coming tonight. Hence a union draw or victory. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time on Talk to Brian. I'm Alejandro Bedoya and you're watching Talk to with Brian.